In the last video, we talked about the main metabolic functions in the liver and its role in maintaining lipoprotein and glucose metabolism. Let's have a closer look at how the liver communicates with other organs. The liver functions as an endocrine organ, which means it produces hormones, so-called hepatokines. How interesting! I see that metabolism regulating factors produced by the organs always get the suffix kinds. I remember the term adipokines, released from the adipose tissue. Yes, you are absolutely right, Asa. There is a certain pattern. Now, let's continue with the liver. The human liver is a high-performance machine. It produces about 10,000 proteins. Given that 40% of the genes in the liver produce secreted proteins, there are really many proteins secreted from the liver. Scientists are only starting to explain them all. The features of the liver support the notion that it is an important organ for intertissue communication. The liver is large. It weighs about 1.5 kilograms and receives one-fourth of the blood coming from the heart. It provides a substantial volume of blood and thereby secreted factors can be redistributed to other tissues. An important hepatokine in the context of the metabolic syndrome is, for example, fibroblast growth factor 21, or shortly FGF21. FGF21 can also be produced by other metabolic organs such as the adipose tissue, skeletal muscle, but the liver is the major production site. FGF21 signaling is tissue specific, but generally leads to metabolic benefits such as increased insulin sensitivity and weight loss. The weight loss, for example, is suggested to happen through its action in the brain by suppression appetite. Therefore, FGF21 is also a quite interesting drug target. But so far, there has been no successful drug designed on basis of FGF21. In contrast to FGF21, which is supposedly good, Phytoin A levels are high in patients with insulin resistance. It is therefore also a risk factor for type 2 diabetes. The liver also receives many signals from other tissue. One of them is the adipose tissue. Well, we already know now that these factors are called adipokines. We spoke about a few of them. If I remember correctly, one was adiponectin, am I right? Exactly. Adiponectin is a really important adipokine. It actually is a good guy, released by the adipose tissue because it has a positive effect on insulin action and leads to better glucose uptake in the liver. When it is present, it also reduces the expression of TNF, which is an inflammatory cytokine that also leads to liver inflammation. The problem is that its levels decrease when someone suffers from conditions of the metabolic syndrome. One of these conditions is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, a condition that we will explain later. How about the one that makes you feel full after you have eaten a meal? Isn't that one called leptin? Yes, you're talking about leptin, Asa. It signals to the brain to stop eating. Its levels increase during the development of obesity. And now one might think that this is a good thing because, well, if it increases, we have less appetite and thereby maybe lose some of, my, of our weight. But unfortunately, the contrary is true. The cells of our body become resistant to leptin, quite similar to the effect that is produced during insulin resistance. At the liver level, this is connected to higher inflammation and also to higher fat content in the liver. So, we could sum up that it's all about the balance. Am I right? Yeah, very true, Asu. In the body, and especially when it comes to metabolism, balance is a good thing to keep us healthy. But that also translates to a balanced, healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind. In this video, we heard about the central role of the liver in organ crosstalk. It produces a large variety of factors and hormones, and on the other hand, is influenced 
by factors such as adipokines or fatty acids produced by the adipose tissue. In the next section, we will hear more about what happens when the liver starts accumulating fat, which is often part of the metabolic syndrome.